Good morning, stinking cute scrapbookers. <laughs> this is Sarah Schuler with stinkingcutecards.com and I have September's pages for you. Um, as you well know, I have a, um, as you all know, I have a class that I do once a month here in the studio as an in-person option, and um, I have expanded it to be a to-go kit as well. So I am going to demonstrate the layout so that if you have purchased the to-go kit um, or you know kind of want to see what this is all about, um, follow along. And it is a great way to get some scrapbooking done. Um, I've got tried to put together a suite of products here that will work really well together and give you some really cute pages. So I'm going to flip you guys around and show you what we've got. So, all right. So, so if you have ordered the kit from me, the, um, uh, fall gilded, September gilded autumn, um, kit. This is what came in your kit um, we'll, or will come in your kit. Um, next month, I believe that we are going to be doing the pets and so watch for more information about that. So what you're going to get in your kit is you're going to get two, um, two 12 by 12 pieces of early espresso, two 12 by 12 pieces of real red, one 12 by 12 very vanilla. Um, you will get a half a pack full six sheets of this Gilded Autumn designer paper, which is absolutely gorgeous. You're gonna get three sheets of very vanilla cardstock um, and eight sheets of additional cardstock. So we've got um, three mint macaron, oh, I forgot the red, um, early espresso, real red, Cajun craze, old olive, and crumb cake. Um, you will get two yards of the um, For Every Greenery gold cord and two yards of the, I gotta find it. Um, I just had it in my hand, wouldn't you know? Of the linen thread. Plus you will get a little baggie of die cuts and apples to go on your pages. So this is the to-go kit. This will come, you know, if you order it, you have to order it ahead of time and um, they will be shipped out this week and will arrive by the end of the month. So then what you will refer to is the cutting directions that I will include as well as um, uh, you could use this video. So let me show you how to put these pages together. Um, they're pretty easy, um, pretty fun. So um, in addition to this packet, what you would need to have is this stamp set, which is the love of, I mean, if you wanna make them exactly like I'm gonna be making them, um, you need the love of leaves stamp set as well as my camera's a little crooked here. <laughs> so the Love of Leaf stamp set, as well as Cajun Craze ink, and the Subtle Folder. Actually, you don't even need the Subtle Folder because I think I've done that for you. So um, that's what you would need. If you attend them in person, again, um, you have everything here. Um, I have all that here and you just go ahead and um, stamp them all up while you're here. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you. First, we're gonna work on this red page. This is the page that we're gonna work on first. It's super simple, and let me show you how to go ahead and get that started. So, we have the 12 by 12 paper. Um, these are one and a half by 12 inches, two pieces from the, um, from the Gilded Autumn paper. So that's gonna look like this. Then you are going to cut, um, let me grab my paper here. <laughs> I gotta get you the, the cutting sizes. Okay, so then you have, you are going to use, this is the designer paper, the, the hound's tooth. Actually, let me give you the vanilla first. Okay, so you have three, grab one of your eight and a half by 11 um, pieces of very vanilla, and you are going to cut four, or a three, four by two, I have to, yeah, four, four and a quarter by six pieces of very vanilla. So you're gonna make a cut you're gonna make a cut at six inches. 
and then cut that one in half to give you these two. Then you will be left with a piece that looks like this. You're gonna go ahead and cut that there and make another four inch cut. Does that make sense? Or do you need to see that? I can do it for you. Let me grab the, let me grab a cut, cutter. I'm gonna grab my guillotine. Okay, so this one is going to be, I'm gonna grab the six inch. This is the old cutter. So I'm going to take my four and a quarter. I'm gonna take my eight and a half by 11 piece of a very vanilla. And we are going to cut at six inches and then at four and a quarter. Okay. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this one, cut it at six inches again, and at four and a quarter. So those are your three pieces for this card. Don't throw this away because we're gonna use that for something else. Okay, so let's go ahead and lay this out. All right. We are gonna put one here and one here. We're gonna put one, let's move this over just a smidge. And, okay. Piece of cake, right? Okay, then you have um, the hound's tooth. From the hound's tooth, you're gonna cut it two and an eighth by one and three eighths. That's gonna go right here. You have the espresso crumb cake chevron. Or what, that's this one. Um, the crumb cake speckle background, two and an eighth by two and a half. That's gonna go right here. Thanks, Marla. <laughs> and then two and, a uh, two and a half by four and a quarter. And I have all those measurements. I will be po posting these in the photos afterwards. So that's, that's how that card is laid out. So then what you're gonna need is this one is a um, one and seven eighths by three and a half embossed. And I think that would be cute for your title or it would work really well for your, um, you know, an additional pic photo. This one is espresso and that one is going to be one and seven eighths by three and a half and we're gonna die cut it. So I am using the one die cut, the long skinny die cut that looks like this and we're gonna die cut that real quick. So I'm keeping the negative, and that's gonna go up there just like this. Okay, don't throw this away. We're gonna use that right here. All right, in your little baggie of goodies, I've got some pieces that are die cut already. So what we're gonna do is, let's punch our apple while we're here. So this is the little apple builder punch. It also will make a pumpkin. So we're gonna put one little apple here and we're gonna do one little apple down here. We are gonna grab the old olive. And again, you have paper for all this. I will give you these in the kits, but again, you would have extra paper if you need to make more. So here's a little apple leaf and another little apple leaf. Let me grab another one here. Here is another leaf. And let's grab the espresso for the stems. I just need a, let me grab one here. Got a stem there and another stem up here. Okay, cute. All right, so we're gonna take a leaf and put it here. 
one of these leaves. I got two of these. That one goes right there like that. And then this one gets tucked in back here. Add one right here. And we are going to put the twine here and on here. So that is layout number one. Super cute. <laughs> I know, Ruby, aren't they adorable? So, all right, so that's, and then you would have a second, <clears throat> you have a second uh, real red paper and more vanilla so that you can go ahead and make a coordinating page with that one. All right, <clears throat> let's do the double page layout. So this is what this one is gonna look like. <clears throat> page one, <clears throat> sorry, this is, page one and page two. All right, so let's start with, let's start with page one. This is what this is gonna look like. We are going to take our 12 by 12 paper, cut a half, um, one piece that's a half of an inch. I'm sorry, I'm gonna take that back. Cut one piece that's a quarter of an inch and one that's three eighths. So with this one, it's the half inch. So let's go ahead and pull that out as well. Okay, so here is the half inch. Okay, so you're going to take your mint macaron paper and we need three pieces at three and a half by five and a quarter. So one, two, three. So again, to cut a mint macaron, you're gonna take one of your full sheets of mint macaron and you're going to cut it let me show you where you're, ouch, I just stabbed myself. <laughs> you're going to take this one and you're going to cut four of these actually. So it's going to be five and a quarter by three and a half. Do you see that? Actually, maybe it'll be better if I put it on a darker piece. So you can pretend that this is mint macaron. So five and a quarter by three and a half, five and a quarter by three and a half. So what I... Usually what I do is start at five and a quarter, five and a quarter, and then three and a half and three and a half, just to make those easier. You'll need one for that second page. So one, two, three. Then you're going to need three. Now what you need is actually four, very vanilla, at three and a quarter by five, same thing. One more piece of paper. So we've used one of those and a mint macaron. Okay. All right. So then what you're going to need to do is take another mint macaron and you're going to cut one at four by five and a quarter and one that's three and three quarters by five and emboss it with the subtle folder. And I've done this for you already. Okay. Then what you're gonna need is the Gilded Autumn pieces. You're gonna do one, two by six, one that's two by two, one that's two by two. And remember that piece that I told you don't throw away, that little edge? You're gonna cut another two inch by two inch Whisper White. And I believe I've lost it. Well, we'll use this one two inch by two inch whisper white, and then one that's one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. Okay, so that's, that's that. Now this is the sketch that started. You're gonna wrap this with the um, gilded, the gilded um, thread. And let me show you how to make those. I've already die cut these for you. So that's gonna go there. And then I have in the kit, four extra pieces of leaves and grabbing my Stamparatus. You or you will have to stamp yourself some leaves at home. I have them already cut for you. You just have to stamp them. Okay. Using the 
Page and Craze ink, which we just had right here. Let's ink those up. Okay, and then I want one more here. Right, and then this one gets adhered right here like that. So super simple little page. But again, wanted to show you how to lay it out and how to cut it, okay? Page one, let's move on to page two. So this is what page two looks like. Again, very similar. <clears throat> You will have another piece that's two inches by two inches of the, um, or I'm sorry, get my head in the game here. Another piece of designer paper, two inches by six inches. And we've got a piece two by two, another piece two by two. And then we have the two inch by two inch. And one and three quarters by one and three quarters. So that's that laid out. This was the piece that we cut a little bit ago on page one. And then this is that three eighths piece that we cut when we were doing the 12 by 12. Okay. We've got another mint macaron and another very vanilla. Again, those cutting directions are in the um, printouts. And another vanilla and another mint. And this one I've already die cut for you as well. And that is the same size as this one right here. I've tried to make it, you know, kind of keep the same sizes so that they were, you know, fairly easy. So we're gonna attach these two together. We're gonna add one of these and one of these. That's going to go right over here. And then the last two remaining dies are going to go right here. Wrap this with some more cording, and your page looks just like that. So that's how simple this layout is. And again, I have very, very explicit instructions for you. Here is the... Um, cutting sizes for this one. And then for the scrap map for the second one, um, I've made it even easier. I did um, lettered them as well so that it's super simple. So that is my layouts for uh, September. And again, I'm thinking we're gonna work with the, um, the pets for October here. I thought about doing Halloween, but um, I don't know, I have, I'm pretty sure my daughter is no longer trick-or-treating this year, and who knows if we will have trick-or-treating. Um, so, so I thought I would use the pets. I haven't played with the pets paper yet, and I know um, I'm fairly confident that the pets paper will be on special next month. So um, I thought I would uh, take some time to work with that one. So thanks again, scrapbookers. Um, watch for more details about October's kits. Thanks. Toodles.